Hello, today is Saturday, September 28th, 2024. We'll do our disclaimer, go over our calls, make some predictions, and because it's the weekend, I want to take an updated look at the longer term picture. It's my trading plan for Monday. Monday is the 30th of September, 2024. It's what I plan to do, but I can be completely wrong, and if you're going to spend money on this, please do so at your own risk. I'm not, I'm not perfect. Look for the pattern on Friday with the early high, that's this, and Monday should have the early low. We hit a target, 57.34.12, I said unless we gapped up smartly, it should print. It gapped up smartly, so the time is off the table, but not the price. The price printed, I mean, I'm not saying I call it because I'm saying it printed some time. It doesn't mean it won't print on the same day. It just means I can't say when, but it did, it did print. I'm still waiting for this lower target to print, 57.10.49. There's no time limit, but based on other factors, I think you might not have to wait very long. Here's what we said. came close to giving a sell, never, we never got it. We did validate uh, Thursday's break, so I think prices are going much higher, but that doesn't mean they go higher Monday, and it doesn't mean you won't go lower first, just assures us we have higher targets. These are the patterns I'm looking for next week. It's often a, a mishmash on Monday, but it should be the pattern with the early low. We gapped up, hit a higher high, closed under all these highs. Here's the close. Couldn't hold on to these highs, couldn't hold on to these highs. That's not what you want to see when you're breaking out to new highs. We also gave a warning that a usually reliable sentiment indicator was close to giving a sell. I didn't have the figures when I last gave my video. Last, I did my last video, I have them now, and it gave the sell, and it reiterated the sell after Friday's trade. Now, sentiment indicators are not pinpoint indicators. It doesn't mean you have to drop immediately when it's given. It does certainly argue against continuing the rally in full force, and um, since it's already started down in a pattern which is usually up, I'm going to assume that that's an active pattern and that we are going to keep on dropping. When you drop all day on a Friday, it's very unusual to reverse it if Monday's open. Now, if you do reverse it, gap up, take this out, take this out, you can forget just about everything I'm going to say because I don't know what's going on then. But usually when you drop like this and you have a sentiment indicator, a reliable one, giving a sell, since we didn't have a rally into the close and didn't have a straight line drop, that's not enough for me. It should close at the low. When that happens, I'm looking for a straight line drop undercutting that low. And if that happens, I don't think the drop's going to be over in a day because of the sentiment indicator. And if we don't get a drop like that, then I'm really not certain how to interpret the pattern. We had an ultimate buy signal in the morning. That certainly is enough to satisfy it. All these squiggles, me, JT, said weren't for keeps, and they've already retraced. Well, here was the DeMarc count. We had a recycle by his criteria. The recycle is his way of dealing with a rally which just doesn't stop. He has to put a stop limit someplace and his limit was reached but he admits in his a book that it's kind of arbitrary it's not a hard and fast rule and if you don't follow a hard and fast rule we had what could be interpreted as bar 13 of a combo cell signal on on uh, friday uh, i do think it's possible to ignore the recycle if we start down because it's not a hard and fast rule. It's, it's kind of taken with some leeway. And the same thing goes for the cell signal here. 
It doesn't always work, but if it works, if it works, it can lead to a sizable drop. And we have a sentiment indicator, which when it works, so this isn't a question of if, but when, leads to a sizable drop, that's gonna last more than a day. So if we start down, and if we undercut these lows, and that hasn't happened yet, but if we undercut those lows, it could be a sizable drop. There are a number of places to look for the drop to end if these lows are undercut. You've got a TDST line at 5406.96, and support is at one bar under that line. You have another one at 5384, support at one bar under this line. We have lower MJT targets, 57.1049, I'd like to see those print. And we have a 200-day moving average of 52.2855. I'd like to see that hold. That's over here. The point is, a number of people have given timing indicators calling for a top here. We have a DeMarc indicator, which interpreted loosely could be interpreted as a top. We have a reliable sentiment indicator, which gives us a top. We have failure to follow through. If we top out here, you could drop under 5,300 and not change the long-term picture. So if we start down here, I wouldn't fight it because I have a lot of lower targets if, if we start a drop. And of course, if we keep going up, then you don't have to risk any money. I think any drop is going to be temporary. We could be under 5,300 on the downside, but let's see what happens on the upside. Well, here's my long-term count. This was the low we had in October. I haven't changed my count since then. I haven't changed my count since October, the day after this happened. I said, if that low holds, that's it, and I haven't changed the thing. I'm unclear how to count the waves after that. I'd like it to be an impulse, and if it's an impulse, um, this was my old count in gray. This is what I'm trying to do now, but I'm not sure. Uh, if it is an impulse, we're going to probably go up for a generation. I mean, this was a generational low ABC. There should be a generational rally if it's an impulse. Now, how high could we go? Well, the low wasn't this low here. It was this low here, and that's 4103.78. You can multiply it by uh, Fibonacci ratios. Multiply it, this low by 1382. That's this blue line right here. And if you multiply it by 1.5, you get 61.55.67. That's this line. And I think it's a reasonable target, not a stop and reverse, but a target for the rally, even if we drop to 5,300 or lower first. Now, it always is helpful when you can find some kind of relationship between the lines. So we have this one hit. We have this one as a possible target. You don't have to have a Fibonacci relationship with the last wave up, but it adds credence to the count if you do. So if we measure in this gray dotted Fibonacci grid from the low of A, low of B, to the high of B, and put a Fibonacci grid in, and then you put it on the low of C, We get these targets on the nose. That's 38.2, that's 50. I mean, that's a beautiful picture. Doesn't mean some other picture wouldn't work, but it gives credence to the target if we top out around 61.55 and two thirds. So longer term, I think we're going much higher. And that doesn't mean we have to stop there. That's just a possible stopping point. But as far as the next few days or weeks are concerned, I think we could drop under 5,300 if we get the break. And again, that hasn't happened yet. 
when this pattern has the early low, regardless of where we open, we gapped up at a higher high, closed under intraday highs, and if we maintain it at the open, it's a bearish pattern, should lead to lower prices regardless of where we close. Now Friday's pattern should lead should have led to a, should have led to a rally into the close or a straight line drop. Neither happened, but time doesn't run out until Monday's open. When Friday drops all day, almost always we're going to continue that drop Monday morning. And if that's right, we should drop right from the open Monday, ideally by gapping down sharply. And if we gap down sharply, everything is playing according to my plan. And if not, I don't, you know, I don't, I'm not, then I'm not right. And if we gap over the high day instead, I really can't figure out what's going on. Now, usually reliable sentiment indicators given the sell signal, timing indicators of a number of different people have us in the area of a top. I mean, I, all last week I was looking for a top. We never got it. I, we finally confirmed a long-term breakout, but now I'm getting sell signals, real sell signals. Not close. We remain a trend line resistance, and it's possible to interpret the marks indicators as giving a sell. Now, the failure of the market to follow through on last week's break to new highs is not what one wants to see if the rally is to continue without interruption. So, if in capitals we undercut recent lows, which I think is quite possible, particularly if we get down smartly Monday, we could trade under 5,300 cash without changing the long term bullish picture. Just remember, if we do trade under 5,300 cash, rather than throwing in the towel, I think we have a good chance to rally to 61.55, and that could be a good chance to go long. But we'll take it a day at a time, looking for a gapping down smartly. I think there, if it's right, we should drop for more than a day, undercut these lows, and there are much lower targets ahead of us, if that's the right interpretation. It's the pattern with the early low, and that's today's call.